In the forest called Yusufa, where snakes live like a human. In this forest, snake get married just like human. There are two giant male snake in this forest, but they never want to marry to their fellow snake. They will say they want to marry the most prettiest thing in world. In an Africa kingdom called Aluna, there live three young lady called Aina, Folek, and Mary. The three ladies are best as friend. Aina and Folek are the prettiest lady in the kingdom. No man will see them and say no to their beauty. But Mary, their third friend, was very ugly. The beauty of Aina and Folek are always in the mouth of the people of the kingdom. Whenever they pass by, attention given to them is more than the king. Everywhere will be silent, and everybody will focus on them. The animals will come around to see. Every man around that moment will leave whatever they are doing and focus their two eyes on them. This make Aina and Folek not to see themselves as ordinary women, but a small god of the kingdom. They are so proud, they reject all the men that propose to them for marriage. Including a Mecca, the son of the richest farmer in the kingdom, they will say, No man in the kingdom have the money to maintain their whole lives. We want to marry to a man that have everything in the world, so that when we get to his house, we will become more and more pretty, not ugly. But Mary, their third friend, was never like that. Because she is ugly, she never reject any man that proposed to her. She got married to one of the farmer in the village. In the forest called Yusufa, where snakes live like a human. In this forest, snake get married just like human. There are two giant male snake in this forest. But they never want to marry to their fellow snake. They will say they want to marry the most prettiest thing in world. Fulek and Aina still enjoy their single life. They still insist that no man in the kingdom can take good care of them. They always go to a faraway river in the kingdom, not to fetch water, but to play. They see the river as the quiet place to make themselves happy. They will sing and dance. Sometimes they will enter into the river splashing water to their selves. One day, one of the giant snake from Yusufa forest came to drink water in the river. On getting to the river, the snake saw Aina and Folek from a very far distance. He could not see them so well. The snake dodged secretly and moved closer to them. Aina and Folek didn't notice anything. The snake moved closer and saw the beauty. He saw their skin shining like a gold their eyes blinking like a newborn baby. The snake say to itself, this is the most prettiest thing I've ever seen. They look so beautiful. If my second partner see this, I know he will like them too. The snake imagine him moving closer to them, touching their skin, playing and having fun with them. But he know if he appear to them and do so, they will be so scared. They will run and run and they will never come back to the river again. The snake hides secretly until they are done. When the snake was hiding, he had Aina telling Folate, saying, Okay friend, we are done for today. Let go home, we will come back tomorrow. Aina and Folate left the river and go back home. The snake go back to the forest. When the snake get back to the forest, he tell his partner, the second giant snake, what his eyes have seen in the river. I saw what my eyes have never seen today, to beautiful human. Their body shining like a gold and their eyes blinking like a newborn baby, said the snake. The second giant snake was in hurry to see what his friend have seen too. But the other snake reply, and say I had their discussion. They say they will come back to the river tomorrow. On the second day, Aina and Folek are already in the river playing as usual. As the two giant snake got to the river, the second giant snake was so impressed with their beauty. The two snake fell in love with Aina and Folek, but they never know what to do. The snakes don't know much about them. They don't even know their names, so they decided to always come around whenever they are in the river. To hear their conversation through this, they will know more about them. 
They will know what they like and what they dislike. One day, the two snakes were hiding somewhere around the river. Hearing their conversation, the snake hear them talking about the type of man they will like to marry. I am the prettiest woman in the world and I will marry the most beautiful, powerful, and kind man in the world. Aina said, and Full Lake respond to her by saying, I will marry the strongest and richest man in the world. The two snake hear this, but they were not happy because they don't have the power to turn into a human. It is only the king of the snake in the forest that can give them the power to turn into human being. Aina and Full Lake left the river and go back home. And the two snake return to the forest to meet their king. They tell their king, we have been waiting for days like this to come. And the day has finally come. We have seen the love of our life. Whom our heart has truly chosen. It's a beautiful human being, so king. We want you to give us the power to be able to turn into a human being. We can't appear to them like this. They will be scared. But if we appear to them in form of a rich, wealthy, and a powerful man, they will listen to us and we will become their husband. The king of the snake respond with anger and say, no, no, I will never do that. Off guess you know the law of our kingdom. Snake can only be turned into a human. Only if we have an important mission in the world of human. I can never turn snake into a human because the snake want to go and marry them. No, I can never do that. There are a lot of beautiful snake in our kingdom. Go to them and marry them. When the two giant snake hear what the king have said, they left the palace, but they were never happy. Day after day, they keep coming to king to beg him to give them the power to turn into a human. But the king keeps saying no until one day. The two snake came to the king begging him for the power. Please, we need this power, please. The king of the snakes see the pain on their face. He hear their cry and accept their request. He accept to give them the power. But I want you to know this. The king said in a bold and fearful voice. When you marry them and impregnate them, the babies belong to our kingdom. The two snake accept and agree with the king conditions. The king give them the power and they start living. But as they were about to live the palace, the king remind them and say, Remember you are going for some time, not forever. Don't forget you belong to our kingdom, not their kingdom. Goodbye. The second day, Aina and Folate came to the river to play as usual. But on their way going back home, they saw the beautiful men. Their face were shining like a ripe brown mango. Looking tall and very beautiful. The first man name itself John, and the second man name itself Festus. The two men approach and say to them, Hi, princess, how are you doing? But Anna and Folig never answer. The proudness in them make them not to care about the men's beauty. As they keep going, Aina mistakenly shook one of her leg on a very long nail. She shouted and screamed in a very loud voice, My leg, my leg. Blood were flowing and rushing out seriously, as John and Festus hear one of the ladies shouting. They quickly move closer to them. What happened to your friend? Folek replied with gentle voice, crying bitterly. Please help my friend, she just shook her leg on a very long nail. And there is nobody around to help us. Please help me and let carry her to the village. John answered, we cannot help, but we can heal. John lay his hand on the wound, and the wound started healing instantly. The blood stopped. Flesh covered the wound to its normal position. Aina never feel any pain again. She stood up with surprise on her face. Aina and Folake asked herself silently in their mind, Who are these men? John and Festus hear what they are silently saying in their mind, and they reply them loudly at once and say, we are the man you are looking for, the man that have everything of this world. Let go to your kingdom. It's seen your places too far. Festus point his right hand to the bush. Immediately for white horse, came out right from the bush. Climb it and let go to your kingdom. 
Festus said. Aina and Folate climbed the horse with a fearful mind, asking different kind of question in their mind. Who are this man? Hope this man are not a ghost. It was dark when they got to their village. It was already evening. Aina and Folate, the two friends, have to depart and go to their various houses. John followed Folate to sleep in his house, and Festus followed Aina. That night, Aina and Folate could not sleep. When Festus see that Aina could not sleep, he moved close to her and say, Young princess, it's late, why are you not sleeping? Aina replied with a softly voice, I am, I am scared, I don't know you. I am also a human being like you, Festus said. All what you saw was just a gift from God. What you saw last time was just a little of me. You still have more to see that I can do and undo. I can turn animal into man and human into animals. It's nothing but gift from God, so don't be afraid of me. I am also a human being like you. I ain't a feel calm with his words and her fear disappear instantly. She believe him, she now feel free with him. And she ask, what is your name? Festus answer confidently and say, my name is Festus. They both smile to each other. And Festus asked, Will you marry me? Aina smile and answer yes. I am loving you, and I am already yours. The second morning Festus and John ask everyone in the kingdom to bring their sick wants to them. Both the old and young wants, and the blind wants, and also the woman that haven't give birth for years. John and Festus heal them all. And this make Aina and Folate fall in love more and more for John and Festus. They both get married. Their wedding goes well. As the day goes after day, and moon after moon, John and Festus heal everyone in the kingdom, except someone that never get heal. The king wife, she have never get pregnant since when she get married to the palace. All the village herbalist has tried all their best, but nothing worked, and this have make the king get worried. Because if he suddenly die, he have no one to take over the throne. John and Festus always go to the palace to heal the king wife. But nothing worked. After several months, Aina and Foley get pregnant. But Festus and John feel unhappy. Because their time is already near. The time to go back to where they come from. One night Aina slept and wake up to see a giant snake beside her. She shouted loudly. She was so scared and wanted to run. But the doors are closed. Don't be afraid I am your husband. I can't hurt you. But listen to me. I never want to leave you. I wish to stay forever, but... Our king gave me a little time to use in the world of human. And the time is now. The baby inside you is not an ordinary baby. And it belonged to our kingdom. The baby is not yours, but the baby of the kingdom. On the day you give birth, I will come and carry the baby. Don't forget you are still my wife. No man should ever come close to you. The giant snake passed through the window and enter into the bush. Aina screamed so loud as she forcefully opened the door and run to Full Lake House. On getting to Full Lake House, Full Lake was laying dead on the floor. Moreover, what happened to Aina was exactly what happened to Full Lake. But Full Lake was so scared. As she wanted to run outside, she hit her head on the wall and fall down dead. The villagers were worried and never know what could have caused Full Lake her death. But as day go after day, they move on and forget about it. Whenever they ask Aina about her husband, she will lie and say, He have traveled a faraway village to heal people. One day the king had a dream. He saw Aina giving birth to a baby with a golden crown on the baby's head. The baby grew up to become a powerful king. He ruled the kingdom so well when the king wakes up. He taught the dream were ordinary dream and never take it personal. The second night, he had the same dream again. Immediately the king wake up, he start taking it personal, saying this is not an ordinary dream. He say to itself, is it that Aina is carrying the next king? I will do anything to protect this baby to make the dream come through. 
Off guess I don't give birth to any child. But as long as I have someone who can rule and take good care of my people, I am very okay with that. They next day the king called for Aina. When Aina got to the palace, the king narrated his dream to her. Aina was shocked and replied the king, saying, This can't be possible. The baby don't belong here. Aina stopped talking and start crying bitterly. But the king don't understand what she mean. By saying the baby don't belong here, from that moment, king command that Aina should start living in the palace and they should treat her like a queen, because she is carrying the next king. Aina start living in the palace, as the king have come in, but the king noticed something. He noticed that Aina have never been happy since when she start living in the palace. The king thinks she should be happy, as she now live in the palace like a queen. But Aina was never happy, because she knows she is in a very big danger that will affect the whole kingdom. One day Aina was sitting somewhere alone in the palace, and the king saw her crying alone. It was this moment the king knew that there is something secret Aina is hiding. The king moved closer to her, and Aina was shocked as she saw the king beside her. She quickly cleaned up her face as if nothing has happened. And the king asked her, Queen, what happened? But Aina answered nothing. The king sat down beside her and say, A problem share is a problem solve. Tell me what happened. I am the king of this kingdom. And I have the power to control everything of my kingdom. And Aina reply and say the problem is the baby. The baby belonged to a giant snake of the forest. My husband, the villagers know, is a snake. And he will come back and carry the baby immediately I give birth to the baby. The king was shocked as he hear this. He stood up angrily and say with a very bold voice, Nothing can take this baby away from this kingdom. Because he is the king of the next generation. I will tell my warriors to be ready and my soldier to be vigilant. And all the herbalists in the kingdom to wake up. The baby is going nowhere. Aina feel calm with the king's words and believe that the king will save the baby from the giant snake on that day. On the day Aina want to give birth, a Luna kingdom know the day they were expecting has come. The king know this will not just be an ordinary fight, but a war. He ordered his warriors to sharpen their sword very smooth and sharp. The soldiers to load their gun with bullet as much as possible. The herbalist to be more perfect with their spiritual incantations. Aina give birth successfully. The baby was a boy. The whole kingdom are ready. The soldiers, the warriors, and the village herbalist are standing with confidence, expecting any suspicious move. And suddenly, thanks for watching, and watch out for the part two. Thanks.